I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome if you've not been here before. I'm Sinead Crow. I do weekly fashion and styling videos, and today I am doing my seven summer wardrobe essentials. So if you've not been here before, I would love you to hit that subscribe button, hit the like, leave me a comment, everything. I do two to three videos a week. I always do a styling video on a Thursday, a different five ways to wear or five outfit ideas. And then on Sunday, I do a miscellaneous fashion video like this. So there's plenty of fashion and styling stuff coming weekly, so you should definitely subscribe so you don't miss it. So today I thought it was about time, since we've actually got summer here in the UK, um, to talk you through some of my summer wardrobe essentials. And this is really hard to get it down to seven because I feel like so many things come into it when I think about my wardrobe essentials. And I have got duplicates of some of the things because I just couldn't decide which item to show you. So I've got a few alternatives to show you. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So the first item I want to talk to you about is the white wrap dress. Before I was thinking of just doing the wrap dress, but I actually feel like the white wrap dress to me is like the ultimate summer wardrobe essential because it's timeless. If I look at all of my other wrap dresses, I wear them each season and then I might not come back to them. Some of them I do, but a, white, a good white wrap dress is something that does not go out of style. It's something you can style up in so many different ways for summer so you can wear it time and time again and just accessorize it differently. These two summer white dresses that I'm gonna show you have become such wardrobe staples to me this year that I know they're gonna stay in my wardrobe this year, next year, and hopefully for many years to come because they are good quality. So the first one I wanna show you is this one and this is from And Other Stories and it's kind of like a linen mix white dress which is kind of annoying because it does crease but it's really easy and quick to like steam or iron and it's so beautiful. It goes with everything. It's a perfect length. It's not too short. Uh, it's got really nice puff sleeve detail. It's not too low in the neckline and it's just kind of like the perfect flattering and pretty. It's short, but it's not too short. You could just wear it to anything and I already have and I honestly, the cost per wear for this is, it must be like a penny for me by now. The next white wrap dress I wanna show you is this one from Cezanne. And I've not had this one for as long. I've only had this for a couple of weeks and I've already couldn't even count on one hand the amount of times I've worn this. This has absolutely become my go-to and I feel ridiculous saying that, but it really has. I've worn this probably, yeah, like six or seven times already. Uh, it's such a classic style. It's a lovely wrap dress. It's more of a um, kind of, not crepey, but like a softer material. It's not linen. It's more lightweight and floaty. Um, it's got really nice kind of floaty sleeves and it's a wrap dress so it kind of like floats when you walk which is beautiful and it's got like the tie detail on the side um, and I've worn this in the day, it looks so nice with like minimal sandals, like little flat strappy and a basket bag. I've also worn it so many times for events, this has become my go-to, like you know how people have a little black dress, this has become my little white dress or my long white dress for events so I've worn it to an hourglass thing, I wore it to a Bulgari event, I've worn it to so many different events because you just have to change the accessories and this literally goes with everything. So the next thing for me that is absolutely a wardrobe essential is white jeans and I have a couple of pairs but I want to show you these pair because I really love them, they're kind of like a, a cream white jean, um, so they're more like an off-white cream, I really like the fact that they have the brown stitching and the um, little, I want to say cardboard, but I think it's leather patch on the back, it's really nice. Um, and these are literally such a wardrobe staple for me. They're such my go-to, if I don't want to wear a skirt in summer, then white jeans are like the perfect alternative. I also feel like white jeans are slightly dressier than your average um, than your average jeans. And I feel like you can get away for wearing them for smarter occasions, whereas blue jeans and black jeans, like people might think like, no, but I think white jeans, you can definitely get away from them uh, for like meals and dinners and like more fancy occasions and some places that don't allow jeans would most likely let you in white jeans, I would say. I've worn white jeans so many times um, this summer already. They look so nice with like a little heel. Like, they literally, they're jeans, they go with everything. Um, but yeah, when you when it's sunny and you want to be summery but you haven't shaved your legs or picked hands or something, white jeans are always like my go-to. The denim jacket is absolutely a wardrobe essential for me. And this one in particular, I have worn non-stop, I got it like right at the end of winter and I kind of was a bit like should I get it because I won't be wearing it because it's winter but I'm so glad I did because I did actually wear it when it was winter but I just wore a cardigan underneath so it was warm and you couldn't see the cardigan 
and now I've worn it non-stop in winter honestly it's got this kind of vintage look to it which makes it look way more kind of like a one-off find it doesn't look like it's from the high street but it is and it's under 50 pounds it's so perfect and to me the denim jacket whether it's black white or blue it honestly goes with everything it's a perfect thing to chuck on over your little summer dresses in the evening or to like toughen up an outfit if you feel like it looks too done or too girly denim jackets just never go out of style so this is probably one of the most obvious ones a swimming costume but I really want to show you the swimming costume because I think it's really hard to find a good swimming costume especially on the high street and I found the perfect one and it's under £10 and it's this one from H&M and it's so cute it's got really nice spaghetti straps that are adjustable and it's got a really nice print to it it's super flattering and the best thing about it is that it looks amazing as a top too I've worn this on occasion which I'll show you uh, I'll do some cutaways for all of them to show you how to style them up and it looks amazing with jeans or with denim shorts or with a skirt it looks so nice as a top and obviously the safari trends are in um, but I do think animal print is kind of a neutral to me even though like it may be having a moment at the moment I think I will still keep this and wear this time and time again it's just about making sure that you wash it properly after you go in the sea or in the chlorine to make sure that it lasts forever and hopefully it will because I literally love this swimsuit so the next thing on my list is denim shorts and as with the other ones I'm being extra and I've got two to show you um, and they're from the same brand but I just couldn't decide because I've recently okay let me show you these are my all-time favorites Ooh, I got these um, a while ago and I've worn them non-stop they're so flattering as you can see like the more I've worn them the more kind of distress they've got and they're perfect and what's great about them is they're quite short at the front and they've got that real kind of like hot pant look about them but they are longer at the back they cover your butt cheeks so you can wear short shorts without your butt cheeks showing and I think it's really hard to find that right length that like sweet spot in between being short and looking cute and being like butt bearing and the other pair I got are these and these are super new to me so I've only worn them a couple of times I already love them I think the wash is really nice I really like the blue wash I like the distressedness of them and I know they're from the same brand so the more I wear them the more uh, they're going to get distressed and have like a more worn in look um, but the best thing about them is they're long so they're not quite as long as like the Bermuda shorts that everyone's wearing and they're not tight like that they're a nice loose fit longer denim shorts so sometimes you don't want to wear denim shorts like even though those aren't butt bearing they are really short and I'm quite comfortable to wear those most days but say I'm going out for lunch with my fiance's mum I would probably more likely go for these shorts because they cover my bum they're a bit longer they're way more modest and also if you're a bit older and you, and you don't want to wear super short shorts and these are a great option so now I have two summer accessories or wardrobe staples to me and first are a pair of strappy sandals that are mid height so I'm not talking about like kitten heels I'm talking about a decent height but not too high so these are perfect to me they've got that nice chunky heel that makes them super comfortable to wear in the day up at the next you see them properly they are leather here so they're really comfortable and they are, I honestly from the, the day I bought them I've worn them like walking around London and stuff and being so comfortable and these are the perfect height that you can wear them in the day they look really nice and also they can be dressed up for the evening so something that can kind of take you from day to night uh, and also they go with everything they go with everything and they're under 50 pounds they are an absolute bargain so finally my last summer wardrobe staple which is an accessory is the basket bag now I've got two here to show you because there's uh, loads of different types of basket bags believe it or not and there's two that I really love and I couldn't pick between them because one it I use way more but one I just adore so I had to show you so this one I just adore I don't use it as much because it's not as practical but it looks practical in terms of like it's annoying to hold it like that sometimes but I love this bag I think it goes with so many different outfits and it is practical because you can fit so much in there like you can go and do the weekly shop with that <laughs> and also um, for me as a blogger you can put an extra outfit there if you want to get changed or if it's in the summer if it's cold you can put your denim jacket in you can put a little snack in there you can put a bottle of water in there you can put your reusable coffee cup in there everything basically fits in this bag and this is from and other stories a couple of years ago so it's super old but they do have similar ones in at the moment which i will link below i'll link everything below and add all sizing information and just for your reference i'm five foot seven slash eight 
and a size 8 slash 10. Um, so I'll link everything below and add sizing information of what I got. Um, but yes, this bag I adore. It's so easy to use. It's got a zip. It's got longer straps if you want them. I normally just tuck them in though because I'm not a fan of them. But they do just look cute crossbody sometimes. It's so easy for going on holiday. You can pack it flat. And it's just really cute. You can actually fit loads in it if you want to. It goes with pretty much any outfit. That's what I love about basket bags is that they go with any outfit. And as this bag has proven, because I've had it for like two or three years, it goes, it doesn't go out of style. Basket bags, I feel like they came into fashion like a few years ago. And they just kind of established themselves as a wardrobe essential for summer. And they're staying there. And I'm really happy about it because I have invested heavily in basket bags, guys. I have like 20. I'm a bit of a basket bag addict. But it was really easy to make my choice of the two favourites in these two because to me they're both kind of they cover between them they cover all eventualities um, and yeah I've even worn this like on a night out before you could you just honestly this bag people get so much wear out so those are my seven wardrobe essentials I hope that you guys found this video helpful and useful if you wanted to treat yourself to any of the products featured I will link everything below with sizing information as just said. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day, out of the 24 hours a day you get to watch my video. It means so much to me. And it, honestly, you guys watching this video and liking, commenting, and just subscribing and just doing what you do, uh, it means that I get to do this as a job, my blog, my Instagram, my YouTube. And uh, for that, I am forever grateful. So thank you so, so much for that. And if you haven't already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your favourite summer wardrobe essential is. Let me know if you've got a summer wardrobe essential that I haven't included here or based on this, if there's something you think I'd like. And if there's anything you want me to style up or any videos you want me to do, just leave me a comment and I'll get straight to them. And thank you so much again. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.